From a literal cyclops to a bag of human hands, here are the most incredible things ever caught in the ocean. Albino Cyclops Shark In a world of photoshopped monsters, it's hard to believe that the albino cyclops shark really exists. However, experts claim it is absolutely real. This bizarre creature has a single eyeball right in the middle of its forehead, making it look exactly like a swimming cyclops. So far as the story goes, the cyclops shark was actually sliced from the belly of a pregnant mother dusky shark, which had been caught by a commercial fisherman somewhere in the Gulf of California. According to a report from Fox News, shark researchers examined the creature and found that yes, its singular eye was indeed made of perfectly functional optical tissue. However, they had serious doubts about the mutated creature surviving outside of the womb. The experts say there are less than 50 examples of such an abnormality ever recorded. The actual name for the condition is called cyclopia, and it's a developmental anomaly in which only one eye develops rather than two. There are even human fetuses that are sometimes affected with this condition. In the case of a 1982 cyclops baby in Israel, the girl was born seven weeks early with no nose and a single eye right in the middle of her face. It's reported that the infant only lived for 30 minutes after being born. Cyclopia is a rare but almost always fatal condition. It's a truly devastating genetic mutation. If you ever encounter an animal with one single eye, you absolutely have to document it. But this is not about animals or people that lose an eye in an accident or due to violence. Have you ever heard of Cyclopia? What do you think about it? Do you think it is possible that someday scientists will be able to help save babies born with this tragic condition? Let me know your opinion in the comments below, and while you're doing that, don't forget to subscribe if you have not already. There are lots of more videos coming up, and also let us know what videos you'd like to see. The Blue Mahi Mahi the blue mahi-mahi is a catch that only comes around once in a blue moon. This fish is nothing short of extraordinary. In Mexico, mahi-mahi are known as dorado, which translates to the golden one. These fish are extremely prized by professional anglers because of their quality flesh and spectacular golden colors. While thrashing on the end of the fishing line, a dorado will often sizzle in a variety of colors from a green yellow to a vibrant gold. However, there is a special kind of fish even rarer than the golden dorado, and that's the blue dorado, or blue mahi-mahi. A fisherman fishing off the coast of Baja, California captured 154 dorado in just four days on a special excursion, and while most of them were the proper gold color, a few of these giant fish turned up completely blue. This is one of the rarest types of fish you can catch in the area. However, it might not actually be rare at all. Some experts claim that the dorado is able to change its flesh to be a different color. This means that they are sometimes caught looking silver, gold, or sky blue. After the mahi-mahi is dead and put inside the fish box, they typically turn the darker green or gold color. Animals that change colors are some of my favorites. It would be amazing to have that power, but instead we'll have to settle for our big human brains and no chameleon skin. The Tiny Marlin Marlin are pretty impressive fish, specifically the Atlantic Blue Marlin. These are massive and aggressive fish that are extremely prized by fishermen for their strength and acrobatics. And of course, they are pretty heavy, weighing in at around 1,500 pounds. This means most fishermen struggle for hours just to reel in a single blue marlin. However, Men's Journal has reported the smallest marlin ever captured. It was by a man named Richard Brackett, and the tiny little marlin is the smallest ever on record. It's only about the size of half your pinky finger, and even though it kind of looks like a small sailfish, the catch has been verified by biologists to be a legitimate blue marlin. Of course, it's not actually an adult marlin, it's only a baby, but the chances of catching one are still super small. And the craziest part of the story is that Brackett caught the fish in his hands and dropped it in a bucket to take a photo. The tiny little marlin had been swimming in the light behind the transom of his boat, and it was just as simple as cupping his hands and scooping the marlin into them. The fish was released afterwards and is hopefully living a long and peaceful life in the sea. But it's refreshing to hear a fisherman's tale about the smallest catch rather than the ridiculous tales of oversized fish. Giant Moonfish here is one of the most disgusting fish ever captured from the ocean. It looks like something out of your nightmares. It's known as the moonfish, and it was caught by fishermen in the waters off South Curl Island in Russia. As reported by the Siberian Times, the moonfish is one of the rarer catches in the area. However, locals were absolutely astounded by the grotesque size of this particular moonfish. It's the first known warm-blooded fish ever captured that has weighed over a ton. The boat that reeled the fish in was so surprised that it took them over a day to decide whether to take the catch back to shore or simply let it go back into the ocean. Sadly for the fish, it died while the fishermen were making their decision, so they brought it ashore and left it at the port. 
But this enormous fish began to rot, and so the local authorities decided they would give the giant fish carcass to the hungry local brown bears. The brown bears were extremely happy about this decision, as it is sometimes hard for them to find sufficient food. However, the scientists from Sock Hallen History Museum also wanted to get a hold of such a rare creature, and were disappointed it had been used to feed some local bears. There is apparently a deal now between the scientists and the fishermen to hand over any new specimens for research. Could you imagine it, just capturing a rare and valuable fish and letting it go to the animals? At least the bears were happy about it. The Chimera Lobster There is almost no way this lobster could be real. It's such a rare creature that there is almost no chance of ever finding another one like it. This is the two face of lobsters, half orange and half dark blue. But not its claws, only its body. It has perfect symmetry with half its shell, a hard blue color, and the other half a bright orange. It was caught off the coast of New Brunswick in Canada and is now more famous than most of us will ever be. Nobody even knew a lobster like this existed. It's an absolute anomaly. After the lobster was initially caught in Beaver Harbor, one of the crew members took the unique animal to the Huntsman Fundy Discovery Aquarium in St. Andrews to get more information on what exactly they had just pulled out of the water. But the staff at the aquarium were just as surprised as everybody else. One of the reasons this is so incredibly rare is that the shell of a lobster has its color determined much in the same way a human skin does. It all depends on how prominent certain color pigments are. In humans, we use melanin. But lobsters use a pigment known as astaxanthin. The explanation for this bizarre coloring must have something to do with a cellular split when the eggs were first fertilized, meaning that another lobster and this lobster somehow got their cells mixed up. In any case, the odds of finding another chimera lobster with two different tones split perfectly down the middle is somewhere around 1 in 50 million. It's probably never going to happen again. An enormous manta ray. This is one of those photos you've probably seen circulating that doesn't even look a little real. Everything about the giant manta ray in this photo screams fake, but I promise you it's 100% legit. It's one of the largest manta rays ever caught and brought to land, and it happened in 1933 off the coast of New Jersey by a man named Captain A. L. Kahn. You might be wondering just exactly how big the manta ray is, especially since it's being held in the air by a crane. Let me tell you, this monster weighed over 5,000 pounds when it was first caught, and it wasn't even caught on purpose, the captain had been angling 7 miles 12 kilometers from shore when the enormous manta got entangled in the anchor line. It nearly took out the man's boat, the coast guard had to be called, there were 22 rifle shots fired into the beast, and they never even got it onto the boat. They had to tow the manta ray back to the marina, where they celebrated their bizarre catch. Giant manta rays are still prominent in the world today, though their numbers are definitely dwindling. They can be found in the warmer oceans of the earth, and are actually pretty mellow and peaceful creatures. They typically survive only by eating plankton. Just like most of the largest animals on the planet, they are almost completely vegetarian. Looks like the giant manta ray is just another example of how important it is to eat your vegetables to grow big and strong. 54 Human Hands this one is pretty creepy, warning for those of you with sensitive stomachs. Fish aren't the only bizarre and jaw-dropping things caught in the ocean, not by a long shot. One of the most incredible things ever caught was a bag of severed human hands. And no, it was not caught in the ocean, but it was caught in a Russian river. It's a pretty grisly sight to behold. After the bag was found, the authorities emptied the contents into the snow to document them, but they don't really look like hands in the photos. They look more like old, crusty work gloves, but unfortunately, they are indeed human hands, 54 of them to be exact. This happened in the city of Khabarovsk, far in the east of Siberia, but before you start blaming a serial murderer for all these hands, it's a little more complicated than that. You see, local authorities claim that the hands were taken from unidentified bodies and stored at a nearby forensic laboratory. The hands were supposedly taken to preserve their fingerprints in case they needed them for proof in a later investigation. But how did the bag of hands end up in the river? Well, it looks like it was dumped on a small island in the middle of the river. It's no wonder people were extremely suspicious you would think there are rules and regulations about dumping large garbage bags full of human hands in a river, but maybe not. It is Russia after all. Things get a little bit weird out in the Siberian Far East. Two-Headed Turtle Turtles are awfully cute all on their own, but what about the mutant two-headed turtle that was found on Hilton Head Island in South Carolina? Yes, it's as adorable as you would expect. The manager of the Sea Turtle Patrol Hilton Head Island said it's a rare condition, but nothing to be concerned about. This is after people began to spout nonsense online, talking about radiation in the water or some other pollutants. But that's not the case. The two-headed turtle, which was first discovered in 2019, is just something that happens sometimes in nature. 
there are not many examples of a creature being born with two heads, but it does sometimes happen. It happens with humans, too. The mutant was found after all the other turtle eggs hatched. The poor little two-headed freak was stuck inside of its egg and would not have been able to get out on its own. Luckily, volunteers on the site got it out and into the water, but it wasn't going to survive. It appeared that each flipper was controlled by a different head and so it couldn't swim very well. A small bump in the middle of the turtle shell suggested that each head had its own spine. This would mean that all the systems were going to be separately controlled by the different heads. It had absolutely no chance for survival in the wild. Fortunately for this cute little creature, it has a chance at survival if humans decide to care for it and give it a chance at a life it would never have had in nature. Human Skull here we have a pretty interesting catch from a few years ago. A fishing trawler from Kilmore, Ireland happened to scoop up a rather gross extra in their nets, a human skull. They had been fishing 35 miles 55 kilometers off the coast in an area known as the West Celtic Deeps when they pulled a human skull out of the ocean inside their fishing net. Obviously alarmed, the fishermen took the human skull to the first place they thought, the local regional hospital. It was then examined by a pathologist, in which the preliminary examinations indicated that the skull had likely been at sea for between one and two years. However, the real mystery is the location where the skull was found. It was recovered extremely close to the wreckage of a boat that went down during World War II. The thing that would make the most sense is that the skull belonged to a dead soldier from the shipwreck, but if the skull had only been underwater for one or two years, how could that be possible? Whose skull is this? The whole thing is mysterious and a little bit terrifying. It's the definition of a cold case. What's the truth? We may never know. A murder mystery. No one would believe it, but this true story is the only time in recorded history that a tiger shark solved a murder mystery. The year was 1935. The owner of the Kugi Aquarium and swimming baths had been struggling with business when his son caught a 10-foot tiger shark a few miles off the shore in the ocean. Trying to be clever, the owner of the aquarium decided to transport the shark into the bath and then charge people to look at the incredible creature. It was a very smart business scheme. The plan worked well until one day the shark regurgitated a full human arm. The owner of the aquarium called the police. The police came and fished the arm out of the water, and after a bit of investigating, the police figured out that the arm had been cut and not bitten. Thanks to a tattoo on the arm, the authorities were able to identify the rest of the man. It turned out he was missing and believed to be murdered. With a bit of good police work, the cops were eventually able to arrest a man in connection to the murder, and it was all thanks to the tiger shark. I've heard of bloodhounds finding missing people, but never a tiger shark. How unbelievable is that? What do you think of these incredible catches? Let me know in the comments, and thanks for watching! If you haven't already, don't forget to subscribe! See you again soon for another awesome video!